I really like this one. It smells expensive. This one smells like you could only wear it if you lived in a beach town. I would not like a guy that wears this. It's too in your face. Floral, citrusy. He lives in like a loft downtown. Hi everyone, Teddy here. And I'm Courtney, and today we have a group of women blind reacting to affordable men's fragrances. So if you're not familiar with these blind reactions, listen up. So no branding, no idea of the packaging, no sense of what the bottle looks like. We wanna get rid of all outside influence. They'll have two test strips though. One was sprayed 10 to 30 seconds before we handed them the strip. The other one was sprayed one hour before they sat down to get a sense of the dry down. They also have a cup of coffee grounds near them if they are starting to get fatigued and they need to reset their nose. And finally, no skin test here. We wanna create a standard baseline for everybody that is sitting down. We don't wanna to have to deal with how someone looks that maybe they're smelling it off their skin or different types of skin chemistry. We feel this is the best way of creating a baseline for our tests. But guys, without further ado, let's jump into the reaction. This one smells maybe a little bit feminine to me or not, just not really masculine. It just smells simple, like clean, but good. I do like it. This is a businessman, aftershave. Someone who used to not be refined, but is now got his stuff together. I would have no preference on the type of guy who wears this. Just a normal, clean guy. But it wouldn't bother me, no. I like this one after a little bit, but when it's first sprayed, it's a little bit funky to me. It's okay, I don't think of this as like, ooh, someone I wanna go on a date with, but. I like this, but I'd only recommend you to purchase it if you're a stay-at-home guy and you're not a partier because this should make me go to sleep. <laughs> Clean. I would like if a guy wore this. Mm, this one's a little sweeter. Yeah, I don't like this one as much. This one's another one that's like a little more feminine, I would say. Not impressed. I don't like this one. To me, it smells like outdoors. Maybe dirt a little bit. <laughs> Just like outdoorsy, I don't, I don't love it. No, and I say no because it does smell nice, but it smells like you're trying too hard, way too hard. I'm trying to gather the right things to say. I just don't feel like this leaves that much of an impression with me. I feel like I've smelled a lot of other fragrances that smell very similar to this and it's nothing special. I would not like a guy that wears this. It's too in your face. I love it. You go out like, you know, maybe once a month and you could hang and you could party, but like you have other important things going on in your life and partying just isn't your main priority. And you're a businessman and you got shit going for you, I'd get this. Or you want shit going for you, I'd get this. I like it worn off. It's like, ooh, that's a man. But when you first spray it, it's a little bit too citrusy for me, which citrus smell to me doesn't really come off as very masculine. Clean, manly, fresh. This one I would have, I would buy for my husband. This is like nice, like a subtle guy, like someone who wants to smell good, but only when you kiss them. This one smells like you could only wear it if you lived in a beach town. It's not too overpowering, it doesn't smell like too much, but there's definitely something there that's like warm and inviting. I really like this one. This one smells like, it smells expensive. Like a fancy hotel, but in a good way. I really like this one. A beach hotel. I don't know why it makes me think of that, but just fresh, florally maybe, not feminine. Um, this one's a little bit fruity, orangey, maybe a little bit of watermelon. I don't think that I would want to go out with a guy that smells like this. It's too strong. I think it smells okay, you know, worn off a little bit, but I feel like that's all I would be smelling if I was around this person. Four is good. This is for the men that wear floral button-ups. That's for you. It wouldn't be what I'm looking for, but I would for sure compliment you if I smelled you wearing this. 
because it smells nice. This one's another like feminine scent. Uh, this one almost smells sour too, but in a different way. But I would not pay any attention to him. Floral, citrusy. He lives in like a loft downtown with like mid-century furniture. A little more feminine, a little more classic. Rose, this is Rose. Yeah, mm-mm, nope. I only like it because it reminds me of something familiar, like a boutique store in New York City, like a high-end men's fashion store. I don't know if I want if I if I want to talk to a guy that I can smell this on though. I think it's too strong. Is this ladies' perfume? It's very floral. It smells good, but it's not revving up my engine. You know what I mean? <laughs> no. It smells like a woman. Nope. Mm -mm. This one's not doing it for me. <laughs> it smells way too like a almost like a woman's deodorant. Rose. I smell a lot of rose in there, or like florally. This is definitely something a man would wear, which is good in my eyes, but it feels like a little bit too close to like a teacher that gets a little bit too close to you when he's like helping you with homework or you like ask one question, he's like leaning over you. Hmm. Ooh, I like this one. Oh yeah, the dried down version of this, yeah. That's like a fun dad scent. And you dress your baby in like Carhartt and Vans. I like this one. I like this a lot. This one smells expensive. It smells like clean and sophisticated. Like new shoes. I think I would like it. I would like the guy that wears this. Love it. Oh my gosh. Oh, and it gets even better the longer you wear it. To me, it smells a little bit medicinal. It almost smells like uh, stale, or not, just not fresh. I guess not fresh enough for me, like musky. Although it does smell expensive. No, you smell like the soil that just came out of the ground on a super rainy, muddy day. Cinnamony, woodsy, but like too strong. It's fruity, there's a little bit of bug spray in there. Like, it's okay, you know, I don't mind it. If you got too close to me, I would probably be like, oh, well, you know, at least he smells good, but it's not like, Great. This is like life of the party. I do stocks. I have Bitcoin. That's my personality trait. I would <clears throat> not approach, but might be someone else's cup of tea. Seven's my least favorite because it's just too strong. I like four the most. Like I would think it's too floral for a guy, but if I picture a guy wearing this, like he's a sexy man. Six is my favorite, fun dad. I think five is my least favorite. It's just too, too floral, too rosy. Okay, I have to go with six. Um, it's refreshing. And um, I know I said it feels like a weird teacher, but you know, maybe one that he gets too close, but it's like, all right. That's terrible. Someone like in the prime of their life is using this. Yeah, I don't really like to. Like I feel like even if you sprayed a little bit, it would smell like there's a lot on there. Number six, I'm obsessed with this. So my least favorite is definitely number five because I feel like a woman would wear this and it smells extremely powdery and florally. And for one, I'm not even a chick that likes floral things to begin with, so I wouldn't even ever wear this. I feel like three is definitely my favorite of these. This just smells like good. Like I just wanna hug someone that wears this smell. It's like fresh, but not too overpowering. Two is definitely my least favorite. It just to me smells like diaper cream. Clearly I have children.
All right, guys, that is all we have for this video. If you like this format of video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. That signals to us that you like this style of video and want to see more in the future. And of course, be sure to subscribe. But guys, thank you again so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. And we'll see you all next time.